My name is Helen Borer. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Seward, Nebraska. Today I want to show you the Touch of Ink stamp set. It is one that you can get for free during celebration for a $100 order. It has 17 stamps. And one thing you'll notice is that they are a lot larger than they appear on the cover. They are only at 65% of their actual size. This is a two-step stamp set where you have the outlines and the um, blotchy fill-in. I'm going to start off here with the flower stamp. I am stamping here in Fleur de Flamingo and then again in black. I'm just trying to play with these to see what happens. I'm now going to take the, the watercolor type fill in in, in Fleur de Flamingo and stamp it down. And I'll do the same on the black one. I then decide to try adding some color to the outside of the stamp. I had seen some other people do that and have good results. Uh, myself, I don't end up being too happy with the results here. Perhaps if I would have stamped off first. Um, Next, I'm going to stamp the butterfly. I decided to try it in basic gray ink and also in black ink. Just to see the, the difference. Next, I have my um, so soft sea foam, no, seaside spray ink, and I decide to add some um, just jade around the edges. And again, I'm not real happy with the look of that. It has too many straight lines in it. So I stamp it again without re-inking and get just a nice light butterfly. I will use the, the light butterfly later. I'm, I'll cut it out and use it on a card. Next, I'm going to try the butterfly again. Meanwhile, I think it's kind of a unnatural pose for that butterfly. If I had to do it over again, I would probably put him at more of an angle. Meanwhile, then I decide to stamp the leaves in um, Now, the name escapes me. I stamped the leaves in pear pizzazz, and then I um, am putting the 
the center or the solid parts over them. I like that real well without the, the sharp lines of a black background. And then I back to my flirty flamingo to fill in the butterfly. And I decide to stamp it off first, get a lighter color. And I like how that turned out. Next, I'm going to stamp some flowers in pear pizzazz. I wasn't sure how this would turn out, but I ended up liking it. Then we're going to stamp the flowers, the fill-in of the flowers in Flirty Flamingo. And I stamp off on the first set. And the next one I go full strength. I decide I like the stamped off look better, so I just go right into the third one without re-inking. As you can tell, the, the fill-ins don't aren't meant to fit exactly into the frames of the any of the drawings. They're supposed to give more of a watercolored look. And here I am stamping the hummingbird in just jade. I thought that might give him some green color. And I'm using the seaside spray to for the inside. I also decided to add some flirty flamingo to his tummy and neck. Not real happy with the look of that. I just have a weird looking bluebird. I think I need to look up a picture of a hummingbird and see just what they look like. Decided it needed some more green, so I picked up just jade, stamped it off, and put that in. And that's a little bit better. And then decide to add some speckle stamps around the hummingbird, kind of just to make it look like there's some sky or something. I'm still undecided on whether that turned out good or not. I decide to take a blender pen and add some more flirty flamingo to 
the bird's belly and a little on the neck. And then I would decide to add a little more just jade to like the wings and the tail of the hummingbird and a little on the head. I think to do it over again, I wouldn't use just jade for the hummingbird. Maybe uh, granny apple green and um, pretty peacock or some colors like that. There are my finished played with pieces. And I decided they weren't great, but they were good enough to make into a card. So decided to cut this one, the hummingbird one out with a stitched rectangle. And for some reason, I thought I was using Calypso Coral. So I chose a Calypso Coral card base Flirty Flamingo would have been better. But I went on ahead. And then I wasn't sure whether I wanted a background of just jade or seaside spray. And I decided to go with the seaside spray. And I decide, you know, maybe we don't need to put them on with just frames. And so we're going to try it with the, the background layer slanted and then the, the white layer straight on the card. But before I put that down, I decided to add a little texture to that plain card base and so I take the the flower stamps here with the flirty flamingo ink and just stamp a tone on tone around the edge Decided to put a sentiment on there. It says, hello, friend. I stamped that in Seaside Spray. That sentiment is from the Touch of Ink stamp set. And I decide to just put some flirty flamingo flowers on the inside of the card. And there is card number one. Next, I actually picked a piece of flirty flamingo cardstock for our card base. And have decided to pick the image of the butterfly and the leaves. And I'm cutting that out with a little bit smaller stitched rectangle.
and decided to stamp some leaves in Flirty Flamingo to give a little bit of texture to the Flirty Flamingo background. Then I added some of the little speckle dots, which is a um, stamp in the set. I decided to add a thinking of you sentiment in, in Memento Black. That sentiment is also from this stamp set. In this one, I decided to stamp some leaves and the butterfly both um, for the inside in Flirty Flamingo. Then I decided to make one more card using that first, the first flowers that we did, the one in the back, black outline. I used a stitched nested label die to cut that out. I decided to put that on a back, a background of Whisper White. And I wanted to use that butterfly that I cut out. When I fussy cut the butterfly, I did not cut out his little feelers and legs, which made it very easy to cut out. So I decided to stamp the outline there so that I have the feelers and legs. And we'll put the colored one over the top to give it some depth and um, so I decided to stamp just the little bit of the body and legs onto that stitched shape and then line it up with the butterfly I stamped. And I think that looks pretty nice. So I'm going to um, pop up the, the stitch shape with some dimensionals. And then we'll pop up the butterfly and put it down right on top.
curled up a little bit of the wings to give it more dimension. And then since I had a little goober on my stamping, I decided to put on a seaside spray ribbon to hide that and to give it some more blue color farther down. I then add another dimensional under the bottom of my stitch shape layer and then a glue dot underneath the bow to hold it in place. I decided the card needed just a little something, but I think you all have heard about how we all wish we'd have stopped one thing before we did. <laughs> this is one of those times when I should have stopped earlier. I decided to add the words love and hope around the outside because they're a really cute font and I thought they would look good. But um, I think I should have stopped right there. But as you can see, I did not stop there. I added more words and I added s s the little sprinkle dots. And it's not bad, but it's not great either. Then I decided to add some embellishments and bling to each of the cards, and I found some little flirty flamingo hearts and stars. Um, too bad I didn't have a flirty flamingo background, but the colors don't look bad together. On this one, I find, found some black pearls that I thought went real nice with that butterfly. And then on this card, I decided to add just white pearls. And then I added some Wink of Stella to most of the flowers and the butterflies and the hummingbird. And I'm not too, I'm not disappointed in how they turned out. They're pretty good for 
just playing around and then making some cards.